Hey everybody, Peppermint here, and welcome to Donkey Zero, Last Beginning. It has been a long time since I've recorded any videos, and uh, there's a couple reasons for that. But honestly, the main reason is just that there haven't been any games that I really wanted to record, and, you know, I, I don't want to record games just for the sake of making videos I want to actually enjoy it so um, now that this game is out and it's one that I've been looking forward to for a really long time I thought uh, why not get back into the swing of things so I'm really excited to play this let's start a new game um, I've played about five seconds of this to see if my computer could even run it because my computer is not the best. Um, but I, I've seen this part. Um, but other than that, that's really it. I don't know really anything about this game other than that it's being developed or it was developed by one of my favorite developers. Um, and that was really enough for me to play it despite knowing nothing about it. Um, the controls at this part are really hard to get the hang of, though. <laughs> um, so, I'm just going to assume, based on the giggling children <laughs> ghost things, that this game is probably going to be scary, um, you know, just an assumption. <laughs> okay, where... Where did she go? I'm like already lost. Yeah, the controls, definitely gonna take some getting used to. Uh, the first time I played through this part, um, <laughs> it, it took me a lot longer to figure out how to even move. So I, for that reason alone, I'm glad that I played through it. <laughs> Tutorial pointer. The pointer can be controlled with the mouse. Adjust the pointer to a spot you wish to inspect, then press the left button to obtain more information. Inspecting can trigger actions such as uncovering hints, granting items, and opening or closing doors. Be sure to actively inspect any spot that catches your attention by using the pointer. So basically, click on things that are interesting. Simple enough. And once I click on this, that is where my knowledge of this game ends. <laughs> this is literally all I've played through so far. Um, choose your difficulty. Okay, so... Enemies are almost non-existent. For those who want to focus purely on the story, there's no need to worry about stress, bladder, or ailments, and destinations are marked on the map, but this offers the least rewards. Well, I'm not a casual at all. So, uh, I don't have my webcam on, so you can't see the fact that I'm being sarcastic, but, um, so let's play on normal difficulty. I think I can handle that at least. Sunday, July 8th, 2018. I was standing on the rooftop of Mashiro Garden Tower. The city nights were hot and humid during the start of summer. A damp wind blowing under the moon.
colorful lights illuminate the city below me. Each of those represents a family with people living their own lives. And I had snuffed one of them out. Life has no reset button. I used to think these words held no meaning to me. Where did I go wrong? Everything is so beautiful, I want to cry. But the bright lights make me want to look away instead. That's why I hoped. That's why I prayed. And there I stood, just wishing for the world to end. Splash. Well, that's quite the way to uh, start a game. Arito Gugarashi, male, 25 years old. This is you, Al. Yeah, that's my name. I'm Haruto Higarashi. Graduated from Keio University, employed in a publishing house. Yes, you're an elite, huh? I'm not. I'm just a hypocrite. Oh, that's right. We don't have much time. Let's begin then. Begin? What is there to begin? My life is already over. Just leave me alone. Illuminate a brighter future for humanity. I recognize that sound. It's from that game. Game? What game? Where have I heard that sound before? Oh, damn it! It's so bright. I hear another voice calling for me. You know, you're gonna dry up like a prune if you fall asleep out here. A girl this time. I'm so over this. Just let me sleep. I'm tired of everything. Poke, poke. Poke, poke, poke. Don't touch me. Oh, he moved. Excuse me. Hello? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, Brother John? Brother John? Well, I have no idea who this character is, but I can say that I already hate her. <laughs> Why is she suddenly singing? Morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. <sighs> All right already, I'm getting up. Still really bright. Sunlight? What happened to me? Forget that. It's. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> I have to get up and away from the excruciating heat, but quickly find myself at a loss for words. I've been sleeping on a white, sandy beach. Before me is a vast blue sea, and soaring above is a clear blue sky. Buildings and islands jut out of the sea at bizarre angles, and... Hey, you don't have an arm! <laughs> Good morning! What's your name? 
Naruto Higurashi. <laughs> we meet at last, Haruto. There you are, between the sky and the sea. Is this place... Is this heaven? Or is it hell? I was on the roof of the building last night, then... <laughs> nope, it's not heaven! You're on Garage Island! Um... Garage... Garage? Sorry, I'm a bit confused. First of all, who are you? <laughs> you wanna know my name? You really wanna know Sachika's name, do ya? She begins using her left pointer finger to write in the sand. I'm Sachika Hirasaka. Nice to meet ya. Okay, I take back what I said. She's kind of cute. As long as she doesn't sing anymore. Sachika Hirasaka. This is the first time I'm meeting her, so I couldn't know her name. But why does it sound so familiar? Haruto! It's nice to finally talk to you, Haruto. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. The girl who introduced herself as Sachika Hirasaka grins widely. There's something almost mystical about the stark contrast between her Piteous? Uh... Okay, <laughs> I don't know that word. Her piteous body and innocent smile. Is this place... Sachika, where did you say this place was again? Yeah. It's Garage Island! Garage Island! Hmm. Garage Island. Never heard of it. So, this is an island. Uh-huh. We're surrounded by the sea, so we can't leave here. Eh? We can't leave. See, at first when she said that, I thought she said Garbage Island, and honestly, that would probably be more appropriate, because this place looks totally wrecked. Looking around, I notice all the buildings around us are dilapidated, rusty, or deteriorating in some way. It's like the entire town had been neglected for decades. So then, why is it called Garage Island? Oh, my phone! I shove my hands into my pant pockets, but it's not there. My phone, wallet, card case, house keys, they're all gone. I look in the sand around where I'd woken up, but I can't find a single coin laying around. What? It's all gone! Did someone steal them? I check the watch on my left wrist. The time hasn't changed since last night, and the second hand is no longer moving. Damn it. How did I get here? You were already on the ground when I found you. <laughs> I poked you because I thought you were dead, but I'm glad you're still alive. She makes a poking gesture with her left hand, then smiles again. So... Where did you come from, Sachika? Do you live on this island? I came from the garage over that way. Everyone else is there too. She uses her finger, rather her entire right arm, to point in the direction behind me. Her right hand is a prosthetic with two fingers. Her prosthetic, her prosthetic left leg is thin and dubious looking. So she has a fake leg too, okay? I wouldn't really call those fingers, it's more like one of those things he used to pick up trash, like on the side of the road. Oh, we're living the survival life out here! Huh? Survival? What's that supposed to mean? 
Wait, if she's living on this island... How's that? Your parents must be around too, right? Can you take me to them? Sachika's parents aren't around. They never were. Oh, I see. Sorry. I may have accidentally touched on an old wound of hers. That was careless of me. So, yeah, we're doing survival stuff. Me, Ryo, Mamoru, Zen, oh, Minamo, Rinko, and Yuma, too. You'll be joining us from now on, too. I'll show you our garage. Thanks. Let's go, then. By the way, do you happen to have any water? I'm parched. Yeah, we've got water. I actually brought some for you. I left it over there so it wouldn't get dirty. Let's pick it up on the way. The girl quickly zips by in front of me, then lightly hops onto the cracked asphalt. Despite her prosthetic leg, her movements are remarkably nimble. Well now, off to the garage! Alright. Right, thanks. The blue sky and the blue sea. Buildings submerged in the water, and streetlights that no longer turn on. In this perfectly clear, apocalyptic world, my weekend has come to an end. Well, I've got to say, I'm already super invested <laughs> in this story. Um, no idea what's going on, but I mean, I definitely am interested. Tutorial map. The mini map is displayed in the top right of the screen. Press tab to check the entire map, and press the left button to place a marker. Map information will automatically be added as you explore. Walk around and inspect any points of interest to fill out the map. There are also times when your destination will be marked on the map. Be sure to check it often. Okay, well that's simple enough. Um, looks like we obtained some survival guides. Um, as far as how we actually look at those, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't figured out Destination is... how to get to any kind of menu yet. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll just play the game and see if that opens up to us. Oh my god, these controls are seriously going to take some getting used to. Okay, so... Let's go back to our map. Where are we? We're supposed to be going here. So I'll set a waypoint there. And hopefully it'll show up on our map. Nope, it will not. Well, whatever, let's just explore. Ah. Oh. Okay. So, going into the water is a no-no, apparently. Whoa. What? What is the problem? Oh, why? <laughs> why am I, like, grunting? <laughs> I'm so confused. Well, there's some water, I guess. Picking up items. Various items, such as food and materials, can be found on the ground. Target an object with the pointer and press the corresponding button to take, place, or throw it. When an item is placed on the floor and there are already too many items there, the item will be lost, so be careful in narrow pathways or small rooms. Okay, target an object with the pointer and press... Okay, simple enough. Lost items will wash up on the shores of Garage Island. If a, if a thrown item lands in a body of water, the item will be permanently lost. 
A picked up item can be sorted in the party menu with R. You can also quickly pick up items without adjusting the cursor by pressing the left button repeatedly. Be sure to pick up any items you come across to help your survival life go smoothly. Stamina. Grab food, bring it over to a character, and press the left button to have them eat it. A character who eats food will have their stamina recovered. When stamina reaches zero, their life will gradually decrease. Make sure each character eats often so their stamina doesn't get depleted. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of death in this game. Um, well, it... let's take this. Yeah, I mean, so it looks like R is how you get to the menu. Um, so we can equip things. Um, rest. I guess that's how you sleep. Looks like we have to poop. <laughs> and we have like a mood meter? I don't know. Um, I'm sure we'll find out when we get there. But for now, let's head to the garage. Um, I've never really played a game like this on my channel. Usually I just play like pure visual novels. Um, mostly because my computer is ass and can't really handle. Uh, wait, Haruto, the garage isn't that way. Oh, okay, my bad. Um, but yeah, mainly because my computer can't really run um, a lot of games that require, you know, a lot of stuff. <laughs> so I just don't play a lot of games on my channel. Um, so this is kind of different, and I'm, I'm really excited for it. What a strange island. All the buildings seem to be in ruins, and there's no sign of life anywhere. There's no clamor of the city, and all I hear is the ocean in a somber sound like a creaking ship. But the oddest thing of all is that the island I'm seeing for the first time somehow feels familiar. Okay. And we're here! <sighs> Holy crap. Okay, so like, my controller just vibrated super hard. <laughs> and it scared the crap out of me <laughs> because I wasn't using a controller I was using my mouse and keyboard and I didn't know that that you could actually use a controller for this um Jesus Christ okay that scared me lost in my thoughts as we walked I nearly bump into Sachika when she suddenly stops and on your left hand side, we have the famous Garage of Garage Island. Is this, place... this place is. Standing before me is an old garage. Just an old rusted garage. Nothing out of the ordinary in these ruins. Okay, flashback. Huh? What was that? I... I know this place. Satches. I told you not to run off by yourself. Minamo just ripped me a new one. Ryo. Hey, Ryo! I'm back! I have brought the last of our friends, too! I look up to find a man with really big hair that looks like a pirate <laughs> next to Sachika. He seems to be about my age, maybe a little younger. The young man with the headband smiles as he notices me. Hmm, Haruto Higarashi, right? Are you alright? You don't look too hot. No. Oh, yes, I'm... Wait, how do you know my name? Yeah. Come into the garage. It's too hot out here. We can chill in the shade. What? Yeah! Let's go inside! Sachika and the headband guy each take one of my arms. Hey! Wait! 
but then they forcefully lead me into the garage. Oh. Hey everyone! We got a newcomer here. Lots of people all of a sudden. Welcome. Oh, you're the serious type, aren't you? I was wondering what you'd be like. All right. Why don't you start by telling us your name, age, and profession? Ah, uh, my, it's like you're taking him in for question. Let's welcome him with words of love. Four eyes, huh? Hope you taste better than you can see. Okay, so we have a skanky police officer, a <laughs> muscular doctor, a cannibalistic um, goth girl. Um, I really don't think we should be eating him. The normal girl. Um, Haro Higurashi was it? Welcome to Garage Island. And the deceptively young guy with the uh, surprisingly deep voice. And my condolences. Interesting crew. Um, so you all woke up and happened to find yourselves on this island too. Yeah. Yeah, way before you did. This is actually a certain someone's third day. You know, Sachika, the girl who found you on the beach. She was the first awake, so she's our island elder. I'm your senior. <laughs> I'm the elder. Also. He yeah, ain't the only one who had their stuff stolen. All our phones and stuff are gone too. Well, it was not. quite a shock waking up on some unknown island. My god. I don't think that's how muscles work. The sky is ginormous. <laughs> An unknown and deserted island full of ruins, no less. Hmm. Deserted island. Yeah. Yeah, we're the only ones here. Now there are only eight of us, including you. Yes. He's not lying. A woman answers as if responding to my inner thoughts. Maybe my face shows my suspicions. The classy-looking woman's voice is soft, but there's an air of dignity and authority to it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I can't just immediately take your word for it. Judging by the current situation, it's more likely you all kidnapped and brought me to this island. Hey, come on now. That's crazy talk. You're probably I understand how you feel. I was the same way. But we're in the same boat as you! Uh, before we knew it, we were on this island. Wait. Do you have any proof of that? What? P proof? Um... Uh... I should have known this would happen. He seems like the stubborn type. I have to admit, I'm a bit annoyed by the man's sardonic tone. Answer me. Then please. please explain this. How do you know my name? Besides, if what you say is true, we might have all been kidnapped. How can you all stay so calm? Now, now. Haruto, let's pump the brakes a bit, yeah? It's cuz. <laughs> Suddenly, the old TV in the garage turns on. The screen, which was blank just a moment ago, is now shouting at us with static noise. What convenient timing. Well. I expected it happened soon. Why don't you change the channel, Haruto? Huh? huh? Yeah! If you turn the dial on the TV, the channel changes. It's mostly just static, but one of the channels plays the cartoon. Hey. What's the point of... See? You wanted proof, right? That show might explain what you want to know. Egging me on, huh? Fine, I'll bite. Very well, I just need to turn the dial. <laughs> At that point, I still haven't realized. 
that the TV's power cable isn't even plugged into an outlet. Alright guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this first episode here, and, um, wow, I gotta say, I am really impressed so far. Um, I would probably say the Zero Escape series is, like, my number one game of all time, especially the first one, and I'm definitely getting that same kind of vibe from this game, so if, if this game is anything like Zero Escape, it's going to have an insane story, um, lots of characters who aren't quite what they seem, um, and just a lot of crazy stuff going on, so I'm super excited to play through this game with you guys, and if you enjoyed this first episode, don't forget to leave a like on this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day!